Apps Custom Visual for Power BI, you can update your data, collect new data, or in the example of this video, take action from the insights from Power BI. In most cases, this can be accomplished without having to write very little code or no code at all. Getting started is as easy as all the other Power BI custom visuals. You add it to the report from the store, drag over the fields that you want the custom visual to reference. At this point, you're given the option to reference an existing Power App application or create a brand new one. If you create a brand new one like we've done, you'll notice that you are giving an, a gallery that already has the data set, data sources out for you, which is a Power BI integration object. It's through this object that we're going to reference those fields that you actually set when creating this custom, this custom visual. In this case, we actually want that gallery to only show the logos from the manufacturers from that data set. We're going to go ahead and resize that. Again, all of the functionality from Power Apps you actually can reference while creating that custom visual. In this case, we've gone ahead and added a second gallery using a different data source and using the first data source from the Power BI report, using it to filter only to those devices from the manufacturer in the Power BI report. And this is the filter command itself. You'll notice that we're actually using the secondary data set, referencing that first gallery. Remember that was using the Power BI integration object. Referencing those fields, you can see that manufacturer, oh, in this case, the OEM ID was something that we can reference. And going ahead and setting it to the OEM ID in the other data source. Now, when we select it inside of the Power App Studio, you can see that it's actually changing or filtering the devices that we're seeing. We're going to go ahead and add a button at this point that we could actually use to place an order. For the full directions on how to actually implement that button, use Microsoft Flow, and to get these data sets, please see the description of this video for that link. At this point, we're going to go ahead and share the application for anybody that would use this Power BI report. That's done by simply going ahead and setting save and then saying share. At this point, if I go to back to Power BI, you'll notice that the Power Apps is actually initialized and something that I can interact with. By going ahead and selecting those fields uh, for the manufacturer, it's actually changing the Power App. Or I can go into the Power App and set that filter themselves directly. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy using the Power Apps Custom Visual for Power BI.